The topic turns to hockey. We have from County National Bank Vice President and Commercial Loan Officer Tony Baker and from JAHA, the Jackson Area Hockey Association Communications Coordinator and Growth Coordinator, Nick Schneider. Hi, Tony. Hi, Nick. Hey. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having us. So is uh, County National Bank fielding a hockey team? Well, we're, we are, <laughs> we're sponsoring uh, uh, JAHA's uh, new program. Uh, so we were uh, approached to throw some dollars at this uh, in support of uh, a new girls program. And uh, we've got uh, several employees that are very passionate about hockey uh, within the the uh, county national footprint. So uh, we jumped on the opportunity and, and uh, grateful uh, to uh, be part of the part of this uh, new, new new program. Yeah, yeah so uh, county national is sponsoring our girls program. Um, with that, we're doing some try hockey for freeze. One's going to be this Saturday from 11:30 to 12:30. Um, we have equipment that's available if you don't have it, you want to come out and try. Uh, it's on the screen now. Um, and with their sponsorship, we're also able to field a 8U girls tournament team cool. this year that they'll be able to go to do. Um, but if you have any interest in that, come out Saturday uh, from 11.30 to 12.30. Come about a half hour early. We'll get you suited up with some equipment um, and get out there and skate. Adrian College is sending uh, some girls from their women's team to come out and help these girls skate. and. Awesome get a love of the game. That's awesome. Now I know uh, we've had you guys a lot yep. on a lot over the past few years. Uh, numbers are up. Yeah, we had a 22% growth this year from awesome. last year, which is awesome. Um, so if we can just keep, you know, growing hockey, you know, mm -hmm. when I was a kid, it was huge in Jackson and we're looking to get it back to those big numbers. Yeah. And there's some, so many dedicated uh, people. I was at my nephew's practice Saturday and I, I was <laughs> only there for 10 minutes and I just, uh, all you coaches getting up early, getting those kids ready, and uh, it's more—it's—it's it's more than just the coaching. It's it I mean, is full time gig. It is a full time. I mean, Saturdays I'm there from about eight, eight, eight thirty in the morning till at least noon, if not yeah. later, every Saturday yeah. between the six U and eight U programs and helping out doing that and all the other programs that we have. Yeah, Tony, when you coach 8U uh, and 6U, you have to tie the skates as well. So. <laughs> Did true. you grow up playing hockey at all? Uh, just pond hockey. My yeah. son has played since he was six, okay. so I'm, I'm very familiar with the uh, tying the skates and whatnot, although he's a senior now at Lumen, so okay. it, it, he does his own stuff, fortunately. Nice. So. <laughs> yeah, the whole outfitting takes a long time. It is, yeah, it, yeah. it is, but uh, once you get it, you know what you're doing. Yeah, and that's the nice thing on Saturday. We'll have a um, bunch of parents there. That can ha that you know are used to getting their kids ready. They'll be there to help the new yeah. kids there to get ready. Um, we also have from 9:30 to 10:30, uh, I believe it is, um, the 2013-2012 birth years um, that are interested in maybe doing a 10U interest skate. If you want to come out, do that. Again, we'll have the equipment there for you to be able to go on and try that. Yeah. Uh, we're really trying to grow the numbers at that 10U level as well. And beginners, this is yes, what you're looking yes, for. Yes, beginners. You don't yeah. have to have any experience. Um, come out, try it. If you love it, we'll get you going. Before girls hockey, did we just have uh, just a handful of girls that were playing on what were Correct. typically boys teams? Correct, yeah, we had co-ed teams. Um, and so what the, this year with the girls, what they're doing is they're skating with their co-ed teams. Um, and then when we go to the tournaments, a lot of these tournaments have a girls division and then they're able to participate in just the girls division um, and if they don't um, then they'll participate with the co-ed team in the co-ed division. So on this girls try hockey for free you like it you'll be able to get a spot on this you'll, tournament yeah, team right yep, away. Right away cool. if you're in the eight and under division we'll be able to get you if you're interested we can get you right on the tournament stuff and be going to tournaments. Um, they're starting right in November. Yeah. Uh, I know we're going to have a tournament here in Jackson that we're going to have a girls division. There's one in Chelsea. Uh, we'll go to Traverse City in February and then uh, there'll be the state tournament in March. So it'll, awesome. it'll be awesome. Yeah, a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, hockey equipment can be expensive if you buy it brand new, but um, there's just such a great network of uh, people to where you can, you guys have used equipment sales and you can always find someone yeah, looking to. And that's something, you know, if you're interested and you need equipment, Jaha does have um, some that we save back that have people have donated that we're able to, you know, help outfit kids if the need's there. Um, 
played against sports in Ann Arbor is not that far to mm -hmm. go to and get some equipment. Um, really works out nice. And a lot of families, you know, there's always stuff on the board at the rink, you know, skates for sale, shoulder pads for sale, helmet, you know, this, whatever it may be. That's one of your so. favorite stores. It's one of my favorite. I have, <laughs> I don't play hockey. I've skated probably five or six times in my life. I have full uniform. There like, you go. I'm ready to go. There you go. <laughs> During that pandemic, uh, I got outfitted. So. There you go. Which it was so hard to find skates during that, yes. the pandemic. Um, mm -hmm. It's amazing. So easier to find the equipment now, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure, yes. Are there differences between uh, the, the boys and girls hockey as far as how the game is played? Or, no differences you know? in how it's played. Um, it's real similar. Uh, the biggest thing is, you know, as they get older, um, there's, you know, the different levels. They come into checking and stuff, and the girls don't participate in the checking. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why, you know, they s split them there. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's just a lot of fun. The girls like to have fun with their friends and out there and, you know, playing with their friends. And I, my daughter's on the team, and she, she loves it out there with all the other girls. So that's cool. they all get together, and their little ponytails hanging out yeah. the back of their helmets and flying around the ice. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> Fun to watch. Yep, it's family adventure. It is. It is, and those probably those car rides to those uh, tournaments. Uh, that's where you make the memories. Too. Yes, exactly. You make memories, and usually, you know, you know, everyone's got the big vehicle, so you'll end up with a yeah. couple kid, a couple of kids in yours, and a couple other kids in other ones, and different things like that. It just makes it real do you, fun. Do you remember some of the uh, early morning uh, road trips, Tony? Oh, absolutely. You know, we've met so many uh, good kids and so many great families. Uh, you know, just a lot of togetherness. Mm -hmm. uh, weekends uh, in hotels, so yeah, it may not seem like a lot of fun, but uh, it's amazing when you get all the kids together and everybody, all the kids get back uh, from you know uh, a game and want to jump into the pool and order pizza. So a lot, yeah. of, a lot of fun times. Yeah, and that's a, that's as equally as fun for the parents. I think. Oh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, some of our our best friends uh, we've met uh, through uh, playing hockey. That's cool. And here we are at the end of uh, big summer event season, and we sure saw evidence of County National Bank's support of this community, mm -hmm. particularly with the events. It's, it's been a lot this year. Yes, yeah, uh, yeah CNB's been very good and, and very active in giving back to the community. Um, it's been uh, you know, something we're very passionate about and want to continue to do. You know, Jackson's a great place, and, and uh, the bank's been very successful in this market. And, um, you know, we certainly uh, recognize that and want to show our appreciation. Yeah, I had the uh, pleasure of uh, being pleasure. a chili judge. Yeah, it was a pleasure <laughs> being a chili judge with uh, Bob Rosa, yeah. uh, of course, from CNB. And Bob and I tried 46 chilies and seven salsas. Oh, wow, that's a so, lot. Yeah, did he come into work on that? <laughs> he did, he okay. did, but he did, I didn't ask him how the chili went, so I'm gonna have to, when I get yeah. back, I'll ask him. Well, he's got that extra room in his office. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, CNB also had a team in the chili cook-off. How did you do? You know, I don't. I didn't hear how we uh, didn't win. Out. Didn't win. No, they didn't win. Okay. They didn't. You know, it wasn't. It was not even close to uh, you know the bottom. So it was. It was a good chili. <laughs> okay. It was a good chili. Just, okay. Just not. not just the not winner. the best. Just not the winner. Which, okay. You know, you have a trips won. I mean, that was it was great chili. There's some bad ones too, aren't there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly. Ask Bob about the bad ones. I will. I will do so. Well, thanks for sponsoring Girls Hockey, and thanks for coming in today. Well, thank you very much for having us. We appreciate it. Appreciate it, and thank you, Tony, for the bank for sponsoring Girls Hockey, and thank you guys for having us on. Of course. Try Hockey from County National Bank, Vice President and Commercial Loan Officer Tony Baker, and from Jaha Communications Coordinator and Growth Coordinator Nick Schneider. More of the morning show after this.